um, it's no major problem, I think, to learn the stuff. Um, the digital archives are, are also rather straightforward. I, I found a really cool thing now on Gripenskjöld. I think it's misspelled. It should be with O with two dots. Uh, from Sand, and he was born 727. I have added the sources. I have not done it here, but on other places. Here, yeah. Family tree. Normally, what I do is that I add a C also. We have the sources, and then we have good to see things. Maybe. Uh, but what, what I found about him is googling and so on is that it's Shane Sand. So then what we have is that we have this big the band. So this is the place Shane Sand. And then we can do it like this and we can see it's a house there right now. Uh, other cool things is um, they have a folklore society which is uh, oh, really active. So here you have it. So they have done all small houses they have um, checked and documented. And here you can see them. So then we have Shane Sand here. And here are the small torps. So they maybe worked on this place. But um, the books. So this is in Paris. Alexander and, and the parish in Sweden is the key thing and here you have in Wikipedia really good Alexanders should it be like that so this church is maybe an old church which your ancestors have been to and so on and what you can do is you can do translate to English that means you can see read Read it. Uh, I should update that page. Should have an S like that. So and and parishes is the administrative unit we use in Sweden. So if I click here, I go to another cool place, which is remains found and all the R's here are remains so here you have Alexander and if I click set up cart installing and Socken which is parish then I can see how big this area is and also what Alexander and next we have Aspi, Torpa, Blåvik and so on so this area is not so enormous big uh, and then if you move over to the books you have in Östergötland, you have all those books. And if I select parish, then it's all the parishes here. So then you can see Blåvik. Maybe not. <laughs> Ulrika. Maybe not. Because we are not in... in See where we have Ulrika. Yeah, there it is. I am. Oh, they have. It's a lot of them. So they have Ulrika, and then we had Blåvik. There we have Blåvik. So then you have the books. This is a small parish. But if we go to Alexander, then. And this is the books for Alexander. So then they started in 1719 to household records, but then it's uh, missing books to 1826. And then you can also, this is just Swedish, but um, sometimes they explain if something has happened. Uh, but then you have household books until 1930. Congregation records is the same. It's uh, and then we have moving in, moving out. We have birth records. We have marriage records. We have death records. And in this case, I think we had born 870, 27. So that means 
Birth record 17. And now, now it's getting difficult. So now you should try to find in this. And then maybe you need to have some Swedish knowledge. 1727 is not in that. Normally they don't have a... The older books are always more difficult. Here we have Fjördus et This book is difficult. Uh, and then we can cheat here. So we say we know it's page 315. So then we say page 315. And then it's getting difficult again. So then you have to start understanding reading this. Gripping help. So it's 10th October. Baptized something. Gripen Sköld. Normally it's the man, husband, and here maybe it's the son, Magnus Gabriel. Mm. This is too difficult for me to read. And then we have 22nd November is the next person. So here's the birth record. And, and what we also have here, we have the will of the Magnus Gabriel Sköld. So we can go down here and check it. This is the, we jump directly to the will, I thought. But I stole the wrong document here, so. And, and nobility people, they are in special books. They didn't pay taxes and so on. It's So here you have, Som jag, Magnus Gabriel Gripen Sköld, um, with my dear wife, Bernadina Amina Elisabeth. And, no, we are not spelling it, I think. Ber, berna, bern, bern, I think it's R-N. Hardina. Hardina, it's correct. correct. Amina, it's an I, not an O-E. Elisabeth. And it's T-H. Wittfeldt. So now they are speaking about how, they, how the house in Malmö should be split it. And they are saying that um, 70,000 is a lot of money, uh, cash, to our dear Mr. Carl Magnus Dufe with its wife, the daughter Johanna Gustava Gripensköld. So... Johanna Gustava Gripenköld. That's her. So she is mentioned in this document. And I think we add her. And then we have her husband, which we haven't added, who is Magnus Duve. And here they are mentioning the children. Uh, Alexander Parish, Göttringe, Härad. And then I think they sign it here and they put their stamps on. So here you have Magnus Gabriel. Gripensköld, Bernhardina, Amina, her signature. And then you have the children, Carl Bernhard Gripensköld, Gustav Adolf Gripensköld, Axel Fredrik Gripensköld, and so on. Uh, this is a special book for nobility. So then the next in this book, I think it, they were sent to Stockholm. Uh, 
Here's Gabriel Gripenköld. And here we have Carl Fredrik. No. Here is the state and inventory of Magnus Gabriel Gripenköld. It's on the page before. See what before this one. Oh, I don't know. But th this is from 1794. And that is when he has passed away. So he passed away here. Here we have the will. And here he has estate and inventory. So this is the estate and inventory. So year 1794, 21st of March. Uh, was a estate and inventory done after Magnus Gabriel Gripenskjöld and he spelled it Gripen S-C-H-I-O with dots L-D from uh, Somden who passed away the 13 February last year and then I difficult to read but then you have Bernadina Amena Elisabeth so now she spelled it Amena not with an O. Gripen Sköld. Born Wittfeldt. And then I think they have the children. Which I can't read. And so on. And then Gripen Sköld. And then we can see they have. What they had. On gold. Silver. Copper, messing, I don't know what you say in English, black, iron, this is a, gives a feeling what they had, this is glass, they have six uh, beer glasses. Porcelain, uh, cloves, a creature, no this is saying cloves, uh, to the bed, sorry, saying the bed cloves. Uh, walking clothes. Uh, depths. To major and so on. So they had for 2089 inventories and depths rather high. Here a, they have uh, pigs, three of them, four, so they have seven pigs, they have horses, one, two, three, four, five, they have sheep, 26, 33, and they had creature, don't know really, but normally it's cows, and then we have is this depths and then you have a signature of his wife Bernadina Amena right now so you spell it or Amina Elisabeth Miraten H and Wittfeldt and this they pay to the poor relief so it's Interesting documents, and then what could be done is to track. Uh, here we have Magnus Gabriel. Ah, uh, this is the will. See if we. Ugla.
I don't know how this uh, document is structured. Maybe they have an index. That would make life easier. No, oh, they don't. But this is no ability. So this is rather interesting. Uh, but um, And this Grimstorp, um, I think you have taken it from some other place, but it doesn't exist in any books about parishes. So I don't know why. This looks like a church book. Svin Åsrote. Rote is um, then it's Nora Sandsjö. So maybe it's this book, AI4. I think that that's book. Um, Page 55, 70, 66. And then you have page number or here. But I can't find anything here on this page. Ah, that's another story and another research. But Search books is not so difficult if you use our card digital, but you also have this svar. We can do a search on svar and see. Gripen Sköld could be a good name. Svar is another subscription service and it's the National Archive and they have a lot of things indexed. Uh, so here we have Gripen Sköld. And, and here they say they, they have his letters. But they are not scanned. You see, you have this. Uh, so this is the letter from 1693 to 712. And what you can see is. No. Here we have a major boop technique. Magnus Gabriel, 727. I hear some register they, they have sent, this Magnus Gabriel has sent some letter to the king. Yeah, it's just uh, see if we do a Here we have Wittfeldt. This is the Swedish Biographic is good. Uh, so here you have a good, uh, I think the, the quality here is rather good. And they have a lot of sources also here. Here's some letters sent. More letters. Military. Oh, here you have pictures. 
Adolf Rickard Fredrik Karl Wittfeldt. Det är sergeant. Here we have Carl Målicke Wittfeldt. Uh, Sean Bernard Wittfeldt. Sean Willem Gotthard. And Carl Axel Jalmar Hult. I don't know why we don't got to hit on him. Uh, there is another one. Hmm. A Whitfeld. Interesting, but this is a good archive. Um, what I think is that they spell it a little bit different. And here we have a state in inventories. Gustav Wittfeldt, Carl Leonard. Do we have them in? Carl Robert we have. Maybe I have found for him. Here we have another one. Thor. Gustav. Thor Gustav. 1825. No, it's not the correct one. Eighteen ninety nine. Oh. Tor Hugo. He was married with Svea and Aurora. Charlotta Sofia. Carl Leonard, doktor. Badstjärna, that's cool. Paul Leonard. Eighteen twenty three. Sounds correct. So what we have then 
Uh, then they, they have a picture in this one. Uh, but normally the pictures are better in, in, in the other book. What we have here is that we have Norra Bedboföransrätt. Så den vi går över. En häradsrätt att some administrator where you have the. So, and then we should have F255. And then you have number 411. Here is the same page. Maybe it's not much better. Year 1823, the 8th of August. Um, then they created this. Uh, difficult to read. Uh, and here we have the signature. Augusta Wittfeldt. Yes, so I put it up here. What did we say? This is the link to Svar. And then I do like that. And then we. What we can do, we can change to English. Name occupation created by. So, and then I add. GM is a married gift, and then his wife, and so on. Then we add a link to her. So, and then we do the same, but we add the link. To this page, then I do uh, copy source identifier, and that means we get something like that. Then I normally have a unique name on there if I add a picture, but I will not because the quality was not so good. But then we have a Nora Vedbo, and we also have the same name, and here they say Nora Vedbo Haras Rett Archive, so that's the same, FE255, page 411, images in the software and so on, and it Bo Protecting, that's the Swedish for estate and inventory. That was a little bit cool, so we see if we have any more Wittfeldt. Charlotta Sofia. Nineteen ninety. Svea och Råda. Maybe we have looked at that. I don't remember. Augusta Gotor. I think we have seen them. Eva Kestina. Wallerman. 1816. Yes. 
Eva Kristina här vi igen. 70, 88 och 1806. This is her, she passed away 1860. That's correct. And then we can... I like the timeline. Wait. 18, Then we take first this one and then we copy the Thing. And if I don't add those colon, then it will uh, just concatenate, give one long line. Uh oh, too fast. And then we can go to F3A2, and now we in Ydre. So we can see if that has better. Yeah, uh, here, here we have it. It's in you know, uh, Sudmanland, and it's F3A. 29, I think. 561. So this is a faster method than. Yes. And here we can see year 1860, the 5th July. state and inventory was done after Lieutenant Sjö I can't read and here we have Eva Kristina Lieutenant Sjövall D.F. Wittfeldt, Gustaf Fredrik, yes. And here you can have these children, Carl Adolf, Gustav Ludwig. So this is some kind of uh, check that you have done your work correct. Johan Bernad, Åke Edvard, down there. He's six years old, 14 years old. And then daughter, Sofia Charlotta. There, Sofia Charlotta. Nine year. So this is the children still alive. I can't read this. Normally you have, a, what to say, a person who take care of those younger children's rights. And here you have that maybe Lieutenant Whitfeld was doing the same what they had. So he had 4,000 something. That's the house maybe. So here you can get the house. Holma, Torpa. Gold. Didn't have anything. Silver. Uh, Candlelight, something, copper, don't know, could be for the animals, I don't know. Coffee, black, porcelain, seven bottles, glasses, two and a half, so, so fourteen or something, two of something, seven. Then it's the 
furnace mount. One sofa, I think. Uh, in the bedroom, they had a clock for four. Then oh, they had more uh, uh, rooms, and then they have a kitchen down here. So if you compare to normal people, uh, they had a lot of things, I think. This is bed clothes. Uh, other clothes. Here is animals. Uh, for the horses, here is creatures, three, eight cows, not more cows. Uh, and here is depths, 1500, two, two and nine. So they had 5500, and here they have uh, depths which they can get. And here you have the Bible. Polita and Ender. So they have books. And 4,900. 5,500 is left. And it, then we, maybe have a signature down here. Eric, here we have Wittfeldt, his signature. So that's rather cool. Did we add this here? Then we take this one and add it like that. And then we do like that. So now I add this uniqueness number, so then I can reuse it. And what I do is that I add a picture of this. And it's okay to do picture of Archive Digital if you tell it's from them. Uh, so I take that one. And then we get that one. I don't know where it is. Or do we? Holma. Uh, add if you know better than me. And the date we know is 15, 5th July 1860. And it's a source and we know it's exactly and then we upload it. And then we could add to this also the husband I think. Because he's mentioned, and we could have watch it. So then we have it here. We steal down here what could be used. I add uh, some special. What you can do is add this bar and then say size large. I add a reference to the quote which I have a unique name here and then I have the same unique name in there and then I, this image stuff I hide in mouse over so then we can say that this is a state and inventory for inventory for Eva Wallerman so off and if we would like to find how she died, now we know she died in Holma. Here we have Holma Torpa. And Torpa we think is in... Torpa is rather common, but I think it's this Torpa. It's in, in Östergötland, but I'm not 100% sure. So we have 1816. So this is not the source, I think. Bröstböld, that's good. 
uh, I move it up here. We, we, I hope it's okay. Let me know if it's not. I say like this. Okay. In Holma. Uh, and then And then we say bar bar bar. Where we have the date here? Uh, she died May two. And then bar fourteen of May we have. And then we could do category. Add this category because it's that place. If we are lucky, then we have more information, and we could see if we can find Holma. A easy way to find Holma is do a search, big the band, and we found Torpa Holma. So this is the house or the place. And if we zoom in and we take satellite, we can see there are some houses today. Interesting. I hope I'm doing correct now. Holma Torpa, I think. Oops. And then we should try to find this. 1816 May 2. Torpa E. 1816 Death. There we have it. It's to 1837. And if we zoom in here, they have written something. Döda. 18. 16 and 36, so it's between three, page 385 and 469, so then we go some here. And they say 797. 18, 18, 18.15. I'm lost. 1817. 1816. He... July, August. June, May. Eva Christian Wittfeld. Here she is. And Bröstfeder. So here we have the thing. So you have written uh, down here. Death reason breast breast bold. So what I do then is that I add it up here. Death reason, and then I do it complex again. We add another category for breast bold, and if I do like this, that's, and then we add the translation there. And then I add. No, I'm making it. So the first one is just to make, so it's a clickable link. The other one is that we add her as bröstböld. You will understand. Death reason bröstböld. And then we say that this we got. We don't do it like that. And then we take... Normally I, I add some text to find it easier next time. Uh, Eva Christina to Leutnant. We don't know how they spell it. That's why. 
Holma is the place to live. And here begrav 14. So that's the proof for uh, buried 14 May. Uh, and then bröstböld 40. Marriage. Could that be how old she was? Yes. Oh, please correct my English if it's totally worthless. Uh, so what I've done now, I did breast bold, I did this, and then we say safe. We have added a picture down here. The picture has a reference to this. And then we say it's a big size. The label you can skip because it's just a mouse over. And then we do preview. And we see Brustbolt has no one written about. So then we have to do it ourselves. And then we have Svar here. We have this other here. They use the same references in 565. And this is the unique idea for this other software. And then we also have the def records over here. And if we have Holma. And we know it's 1860. Maybe we can find Torpa. 1860. Here we have. If we can find them in the books. Then it's. They say here it's an alphabetic register. Here. We are lucky. Holma. But they, it's a lot of different places. 36. Uh oh, this book is not easy to read. Hundred two. Oh, there you have 101, 103, so it should, uh, there we had Holma. This is a really bad book. She was born 7077. We don't have any good evidence for that. 70, 77. Don't think that. Hundred sixty three. Oh, this is enormous bad book. It's not Holma. Two hundred twenty nine. Here, home. Maybe we can hope that the priest year before is better. Uh oh. <laughs> Holma. 
Olma. 74. Maybe better. Dalby, Holma. Seven, seven, seven. Three hundred eighty eight. Maybe I have the wrong tactics, I don't know. Tor four nine four. Uh, maybe I had the wrong tactics, I don't know. We will learn. Uh, so then we have, the indication we have here is that she passed away and then she, it was 60, 40 years. So we need better resources. But we can use this other, the death records. And the one we had was... that one. So then we need to na name it and I always use this unique ID and then, uh, and then we add this like that and then you add like that. So then we get born to which is to this one, this source I don't know what it is uh, and then we have 1860, we have 3 and 4 there, and that's the new one, 3 and 4. Yeah. So I do save on that one, and then we should write something about the brust bold. And I mark things like this with a category old so former society, which I like, and death reason in Swedish, sorry. Uh, I might make it to steal everything. And then the question, what is Bröstbund? It's old Swedish. And then I add the categories, so they will come, I say it's Bröstbund. We don't know what it is in English. We can maybe look it up. See if this is a word list. Bröst. They don't have. Here we have so we take away that one. So we take away that one and that's the one we found. And he tell us that brust.
or small groups of blocks. He doesn't explain it. I have just put it some uh, inflammation in the breeze. Here we have. Bröstböld, eh, bröstköttelinformation. Mastit is the Latin noun. And then we tell them that the English name for this is Mastitis. Mm -hmm. So what happened now is that we have Mastitis English, we have links, and we have Eva Christina Valmar who is on this. And what I normally do is I try to, I don't know why I do it, I add more people. So if I find another person, Bröstböld, I do a search on Google and when I find them, uh oh, here we have Ristina. Must be Swedish speaking Finland. Finland was part of Sweden. Uh, and then we do so it's just one person. And normally the doctors, my understanding is they didn't have too many diagnoses. So then we have breast pulled here. Let's see if we can find one more to What did he kick? Breast abscess. I uh, try to add mm, that's all. <laughs>